This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I disable dynamic brush mode across all brushes? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a simple polysphere here loaded in. Now the question is asking about the dynamic brush mode, and this option lives on the draw slider with this word dynamic right here. Now if dynamic is active, it's going to keep your draw size consistent to your model. So what this means is if I come across the sphere here and create a mark and then zoom out and create another mark and then zoom in and create a mark, the draw size across all those strokes will be the same. However, if I come up here and now disable dynamic by double clicking on the word dynamic, this will now turn dynamic off. And now the draw size is going to change depending on the distance the model is from the camera. So if I zoom out really far and then click and drag, I'm going to get a stroke that is this size. And then if I zoom in and click and drag, I'm going to get a smaller stroke. So if dynamic is turned off, the distance from your camera is going to determine the size of that sculptural mark. Now the question was asking about disabling this dynamic mode across all brushes. So when you sculpt with any brushes inside a ZBrush, their size is going to be dependent on the distance from the camera to your model. Now to do this, it's very simple. You just need to make sure dynamic is turned off, and now whenever you select another brush, say like the standard brush, the dynamic mode should be disabled. Now if you want this option to always be disabled when you start ZBrush, after you've turned it off, just come up here to the Preferences palette, go to the Config area, and then simply click Store Config. This will now remember that the dynamic mode was turned off, and the next time you launch ZBrush, dynamic will be disabled, and you'll be able to switch through your brushes and dynamic will be disabled across all of them. Now there is one caveat for dynamic mode, and that is when using the Z Modeler brush. So if I come over the brush palette over here and I select the Z Modeler brush, I'm gonna get this little dialog that's gonna pop up. And this is going to tell me that the Z Modeler brush requires dynamic mode to be active when you use this brush. So if you click OK to this, you'll see that dynamic mode is turned back on. So now if I go back to say the standard brush, you'll see dynamic is on again. So at this point, if you switch to the Z Modeler brush and then you switch back to standard, you would have to come up here and double click the dynamics text here on the draw size slider to turn dynamic back off. And then you'll be able to switch back to your other brushes and that dynamic option will still be disabled. So to recap, to disable dynamic across all brushes inside a ZBrush, except for the Z Modeler brush, just make sure after you launch ZBrush, you come up here and you double click the dynamic text on the draw size slider. And then after dynamic is turned off, just come up to the preferences palette here, go to the config area, and then simply store your config. The next time you launch ZBrush, that option of having dynamic turned off will be remembered and all your brushes you switch to, except for the Z modeler brush, will no longer have dynamic enabled. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.